guys, it's me, Xscape5, and this is a video on how to jailbreak 2.1, version 2.1 on your iPod Touch or iPhone. Now, right now, I haven't jailbroken it, only, not yet at least. I just restored my iPod, and now, here it is, just like the normal one. Let me just go to the settings, let me show you about make sure you're on 2.0.1 uh, 2.1 right now version 2.1 it's the new one that just came out all right what do you want to what you want to do is first get quick pawn okay and uh, after that you want to get the firmware download i just started downloading it's a pretty big file so you got to wait for a minute so make sure your iPod is plugged in to your computer and everything so get the uh, download quick phone if you don't have it and um, if you do have it you don't have to download it you only have to download the firmware file so yeah and uh, once you're done downloading the file, you gotta go to Quick Pwn. Okay. Actually, I'll just come back once my file is done downloading. So, be be back. All right, guys, I'm back, and seems like I am downloading still. And this one, I had a little error on the other one. I found the real site. It's here. Go onto your web browser. And go onto this website. All right now, what you want to do is to go onto the iPod, go down till you see this first generation slash second generation, and this, and the iPhone iPod Touch. Get the this first one, not this one, okay? This is 2.1.1. 2.1, alright? Now just press download. Alright? Now, it's only gonna take about a few seconds to download, really. Once you're there, uh, I'll be back once it's done downloading. So, yeah. Guys, I'm back and it's almost done. But sorry, I got the wrong one again. You do not want this one okay I tried this and I got a zip folder and it's really confusing get this one alright click download now it should look like this mine's almost done 57 seconds left alright now once it's done you want to plug in your iPhone or iPad touch and okay so make sure it's on 2.1 and there's nothing on it, all right? So, uh, no music. No videos. No photos. Nothing else, all right? Just keep it like that. Now it's gonna be a little confusing, but you gotta use quick bone, all right? Now I have 12 seconds left. Now what you want to do, mainly now, is once it's done, hold on, it's almost done. Alright, so I have that, and here it is, the 2.1 firmware. Now what you want to do is plug in your iPhone, of course. Now go on to quick pawn, alright? Quick Pwn is a little laggy for me, but anyways, Quick Pwn must detect your device by before continuing. Once detected, you can select blah 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 blah. blah okay. The thing about Quick Pwn is a lot faster than Win Pwn, and I think it only works for Quick Pwn for now. Make sure your iPod's connected. All right. Okay. Now. Just click the next button. Now, 
should show this thing. Now it's gotta be. Uh, it's gonna look at your firmware right here. Right now, uh, it shouldn't. You shouldn't really find it automatically. But since I already did it, it's showing it automatically. But if it doesn't, just click on Browse. All right, and just go to your desktop and get your 2.1 firmware. Okay. All right. It's gonna take a little. It's gonna take a while to actually find it. But then. After that, it's going to look something like this. Okay. Click the next button. Um, you want to add Cydia and installer if you just want it. And if you want to replace boot logos, just click that. You can't choose what which one you want. You're just going to get the Steve Jobs and the pineapple thing. Click next. Alright. Now this part, it's going to be hard, alright? What it's going to look like you're gonna have to hold the home button so what you want to do really is the next step is the hardest part you want to hold the home button for about 10 seconds hold and then just immediately hold the power button for 10 seconds and holding the home button and then let go and hold the home button for 30 seconds you can just look at the computer screen and I'll show you the steps okay I, I can't really show you right now because I can only show you me doing this. So just do what I do, alright? Now it's going to look something like this. And then you're going to do everything. Now just hold your home button for 30 seconds. Continue doing this until the time is done. All right now it should say this. All right. Don't let go of the home button, okay? Just never do it. If you do, it'll mess up and you gotta do everything over again, all right? Just wait until it's almost done. It's almost done. And it's going to look something like this. There's a new thing. So I'll just tell you when it's done, alright? It's going to look something. It's going to look something. Uh, uh, just keep on holding the home button. Okay, I'll be back when you have to. Uh, when you can take it off. Alright, it's done. And it should say this. Success completed successfully. Check mark. Now this is when you can let go. All right. All right. Now I should be doing everything just for you. Yes, this new logo type of thing. That's pretty cool. Now, if you get an error, just do everything again. Just turn on your iPhone and click uh, X out of um, your uh, clip phone and just do everything again. Alright? I'll tell you when it's done, alright? It's going to take a while. So, yeah. Alright. So, right now, so we're starting. And so. Once it's done with starting, just exit out of um, QuickPone. Even though it says it's finished, just to make sure, you want to turn this off. All right. I meant you want to wait till it's done. Yeah, now it's done. Slide to unlock. There you have it. And I'll prove it. It's on firmware 2.1. General. That. And yes, you can do, you can, um, from our 2.1. Alright, so that's the video. See you guys.